channel um yes so normally in the mornings i always start out cleaning and just kind of tidying up before i get to work get get a cup of co a cup of coffee made and then i come straight to my office to do some work um whether it be packaging orders or um just kind of working on some new items um and taking photographs of my products but I wanted to um, go ahead and let you guys know how I've been doing and what I've been doing lately. So um, basically, um, during the whole COVID-19 thing, um, it didn't really affect my business that much, thankfully. Um, I think a lot of uh, local people made sure that we were all um, supporting one another during that difficult time. So I was able to um, still sell online and um, keep busy with custom orders and whatnot and so i'm really grateful thank you so much um and um basically i've just been creating um, new stickers and if you're wondering where i get my stickers made i don't do them myself i actually get them printed um through sticker mule and they're a great sticker company to stick with because <laughs> Um, they have waterproof stickers and you can do die cuts, you can do holographic um, stickers. They do so many things and, and it's just wonderful if you want to uh, sell stickers uh, with your artwork. But um, I wanted to share with you um, a few things. Um, my new uh, stickers, I mean, I'll show you. Uh, them up close but i have like these cute rainbow stickers that i designed um this is part of a sticker pack that is on my etsy and they're just really cute um sorry i just got this new um uh, ring light and it's like super bright so i i had to go and get contacts on because it was just blurring in my eyeballs well, my frames so whatever <laughs> I had to change that out and then, um, yeah, so we have these cute little, um, this little bug. Good things are coming. If you want to encourage your friends or you just want to 
use it to motivate yourself um be happy and i do want to show you more of the stickers that i designed um in the past um just so you know like what i have in stock um but yeah these are all die cut they're all waterproof you can put them on your water bottles you can put them actually on your car even which a lot of uh people that i know i design idaho uh, state stickers and i know that people use them for their cars in the back and so and that's really neat because it's kind of like a advertisement for your business in a way um but anyway um i have a whole sticker collection here which oh i wanted to let you know how the nook and cranny barn went um this is a little show that um i'm able to leave my products um in this barn and we have two uh wonderful hosts sell our um goodies for us and um luckily i put out a bunch of stickers to sell and a good thing because majority of my sales were stickers and i was just very surprised at how many stickers i sold at that show um so stickers they just they're easy to sell they're cheap and so um i would recommend doing that for your shop if you are deciding on um, starting your own business um creating and doing art um definitely um uh, print some stickers and sell them at, at your shows or even online on etsy because um people love them so yep and then so we have like this cute postage sticker look at that isn't that cute and these look cute on like um like colored water bottles um pink or like a blue they would look so cute and then um I have this little fairy. This is basically my little sister-in-law. I designed this with her in mind and she absolutely loves this. And um, I just love fairies. And I have a whole line of fairies, but the, the goal was to print all of them, all the fairies, but I kind of got sidetracked and just went in a different direction. But I mean, if you want like a whole line of fairy stickers, let me know and I will see what I can do. Um, let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, this is my newest Idaho sticker. I know if you're not from Idaho, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's just uh, for where I live. <laughs> but anyway, that's new um these little um ride or die stickers are are new these are the um, the biker helmets and I'm, I'm like i was trying to design some things that guys can use because it's, they're mostly kind of like girly stickers in here um let's see let's see i mean i'm telling you like i'm out of a lot of stickers so i might have i'm doing a restock because i'm just out but this, these are you know pretty much what's left and here this is like a very popular sticker my literary girls you got eloise madeline alice and Anne, and they're all from books so anyway i have these as cards prints and stickers um anyway so don't forget sticker mail is the place to go for your sticker needs um i also wanted to talk to you about my pins um sorry i wasn't able to do a an unpacking haul when they came in i was just so excited that i totally forgot all about doing the video so uh, maybe next time when i design more pins i'll do some unveiling uh, videos for you so we can be excited together but i wanted to show you my um idaho truck that i designed um let's see let's show you the digital design first and for pins um if you don't have um illustrator as I don't design an illustrator, I never have really. Um, but um, Affinity Designer is a great um, option for vector design. 
And so if you're looking to design your enamel pins, I highly suggest using this app because it's amazing. Um, I have a few pin designs already made that haven't been done yet, but I just wanted to show you That is the vector design of my Idaho truck. It's so cute. Sorry about the ring light. Ugh, annoying. All right, and this is how it came out. This cute little truck. <laughs> I love it. I love how it's mostly gold and black. It's just so poppy and I think that it would like uh, looks so cute on like bags and your jackets. I still don't know what to do with mine though. I kind of want to, I got to put them on a bag to advertise them or something, but they're so cute. And in the back, they have my little um, logo in the back and who makes them. Um, so if you want to um, get your pins done, um, there's a great um, company in Texas and their name is Lost Less Supply. And they just really provide high quality enamel pins. I was just floored when my pins came in and I saw the quality and the fact that they were able to put my logo and do the, the card backings for me. I was able to design my card backings myself and then they just printed it for me. And so this is what it looks like on my pin back card. It's all packaged up neatly and then you could see I did um, the mountains and then the, it's like the truck is in the mountains driving away. It's so cute. And I love how it came out. The font too is like my favorite font in there. And then I also made another state one. Um, this one is really pretty and I think a lot of people like this design. It kind of reminds me of a um, 1920s um, design. Because if you see, I kind of tried to give that vibe of that like 1920s um, design. But yeah, even with the font, it really made it uh, look like it was part of the 1920s. And, and people love this one. I think this one is the one I sold the most so far. And then I have my, my pen, my rainbow pen, my retro rainbow pen. And it's super cute and it's gold with the retro colors on it and then you'll see like the little flower design at, on the bottom where the clouds are i don't know if you can see it there kind of ish and anyway it was just so fun to make um it is pretty pricey when you're trying to design these pins you do have to have a good amount of funds um to pay for these because i think one design um will cost you about 250 to 300 dollars for 100 pieces okay and so um if you're wondering oh how am i going to get the funds to pay for all these pins to be made um i would highly suggest um selling just little small items in your shop because small items are what sells the most and it accumulates and it just makes for an easy way to make more money to to pay for your pins so stickers would be a great way to start um also five dollar greeting cards those always sell um it's actually that's basically what i do my business is was i first started making greeting cards in the beginning so um I consider myself a greeting card company um, and then everything else is just um, an addition to my shop because I'm a creator. I create all kinds of things. Um, I've been creating totes, um, let's see, totes, pins, stickers, um, mugs, mugs, little ornaments, coasters. I would like to start making more apparel. Um, I did make a few uh, things like t-shirt and like a jacket here and there, but it's not something that I'm like full on about right now. So I'm just gonna hold off on doing apparel. But um, 
eventually I would like to start heading that direction. But I just have so much going on um, as far as like uh, custom work, designing, um, also creating new cards. Um, I do want to show you my new card line, which I'll go ahead and um, it'll pop up here in the video for you to look at. And I think my favorite so far would be don't be afraid to fail. I don't know if you could see that there. I think that it's a great um, card to encourage people who are afraid to get out there and start uh, selling their work or I mean it doesn't even have to be art I mean it could be a craft that you are really good at like sewing or like you know just making things embroidery um, there's all kinds of things that you can make at home and if you're scared like don't let that fear stop you from doing what you want to do because there are people who will pay money for handmade items I wouldn't be afraid uh, if you're thinking of starting a creative business take the the small steps to to make it happen whether it be uh, coming up with a business name designing uh, your logo or have someone else design it for you or like me or somebody you know I don't know, I don't know just saying um, <laughs> um, and then just kind of get yourself out there get on social media create an Instagram account for your business um, and let it be known what you do, what you are wanting to provide uh, as far as services or creations, because people um, will follow you. I mean, work hard at your craft and do the best that you can and you will see um, the results. You, you will benefit from working hard and keeping at it. So don't give up. And don't be afraid to fail. I've failed before in many ways in my business. And there's still, you know, flops that happen here and there. But, you know, you live and you learn. And I've learned so much from my failures in the beginning. Believe me. And I also wanted to show you my new sign made by Franny West Designs. She made my new sign, which I can bring to shows. And it's just so clean and it, it's poppy. It's the, the whole logo here is made out of wood. So it pops out from the wood frame. Uh, I had her leave it to a natural wood color because that's pretty much my brand. But it's so cute and I love it. What do you think? Let me know. Thank you so much for um, popping into my shop to check things out. Um, hopefully, um, I'll see you next time. I'll try to be more consistent with videos, but sometimes I can get real busy. Um, but you know, uh, videos are always the last thing on my list, but if I get more followers or more views or people are wanting more videos, uh, just let me know and I will try my best to get some done. Um, so please subscribe, like the video, share it. Um, that would really help be so helpful to me. And I hope that if you want to do what I'm doing, um, please message me. I am more than happy to help you guys with anything you um, have questions on uh, regarding business or starting your creative business um just dm me on instagram at amanda holden designs um uh, check out my etsy too i have a ton of stuff on there uh stickers pins prints cards um any suggestions would be great as far as video making i am not an expert at this but i would love uh some help on that front but anyway i'm off to get something to eat so i'll see you guys later thanks See ya. Bye.